But our upcoming guest is one that I was very surprised to see on the dock and very excited to hear what he has in store. The head of Xbox from Microsoft, Phil Spencer. Yes. Hi. Phil, welcome. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the PC Gaming That's Show. That's right. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> welcome to the PC Gaming Show. We talk about PCs. Yeah. So, Phil, <laughs> I would be thrilled for you to tell me a little bit about what Microsoft is here for. Yeah, you know, this, well, first, I just want to say I think it's great that there's a PC gaming conference press event here at E3. I think that's fantastic. When we, <laughs> when uh, we had the opportunity to, <laughs> when we had the opportunity to get involved with this and uh, help put it on, it was a great opportunity, and I definitely wanted to jump at it. And I wanted to have the opportunity to come on stage because it's, uh, there have been times in our past where Microsoft maybe has lost our way with PC gaming. And as the person now who runs gaming for Microsoft, uh, Windows and what people have done on PC is critical to our, both our success and critical to Windows success. So getting the opportunity to come here and talk directly with uh, fans and the press and be in the event was something I, I look forward to. So it's great to be here. Yeah, I'm so glad to have you. I mean, tell us a little bit about your plans for the PC. Yeah, you know, the, we have Windows 10 obviously coming out in July. One of the early moves was uh, to make the free upgrade for people. Really, we thought about that from a developer standpoint, that as developers look at a common ecosystem with everybody on as much as we can, one version of Windows, it just makes it easier uh, as people are developing games. So allowing for free upgrades in the first year so that people, their test yeah. matrix, our test matrix just gets easier, that was a good win. Building DirectX 12 and make it common across our platform so that if right. you're working on DirectX 12, Xbox Live, so if you're interested in writing to Xbox Live, the same IP API set, the same service, just trying to make it easier for developers as they're developing Windows games. So is the goal to have a wide variety of cross-platform titles both on the Xbox One and on the PC? You know, for me, games, I think there are a lot of opportunities for cross-platform, but I also think there are games that exist on a television, and there's games that exist PC and or keyboard and mouse on a PC. And uh, it's not our job to dictate where games are developed or the kind of games mm -hmm. that developers want to build. But giving developers the options, the opportunity, creating the widest canvas we can for creativity is what I've seen in my time uh, in the gaming space is leads to the best, the best games. And that's why I think we're all here. Well, also, well, well, you now have the chance to announce some of the upcoming games that we PC gamers can get excited about. Yeah, the, you know, there's been a lot of push I, 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 for us to do more in the first party, and we will. We're dedicated to that. But I don't, also, I don't like to make promises or announce things before we have a plan. So we're going to have some people come out. But one of the franchises that a lot of people have asked me about uh, is Killer Instinct. And uh, we're going to bring Killer Instinct to the PC. Uh, and we're going to allow people to play on PC, to play on console, to play back and forth. Uh, I think it's a great franchise for us. You've seen fighting games do very well. And it's, it's the beginning for us. Again, I, I, could, I could make some grandiose promises. I'm just not that kind of person. Uh, as our portfolio builds out on Windows, you'll hear more and more from us about what we have, what we're building. 